to have that pastor say, if you're single, don't join them. If you're married, don't join them. Women want to claim the head of the family. That is the life from the pit of hell. Start questioning the kind of preachings your pastors put out there on the pulpit. That is why we have broken society. Why will we keep allowing all these pastors to deceive us? To reduce our women, our daughters? Would you not be proud as a father that if your daughter and your son does the same kind of job, they deserve equal pay? Would you not be proud that you see your daughter excel? I once sat in a company of so-called Nigerian politicians and I heard them tell me because a woman won the governorship of a northern state, she cannot allow to be the governor because she's a woman. Are you kidding me? And to hear a man of God reduce feminism, which simply means if I do the same job as you, give me the equal pay. Don't deny me the right to vote. Don't deny me the right to advocate for myself and for my well-being. To reduce that to be marriage and head of household. All of them are crazy. So I swear to God, something is wrong with that society. It's high time we begin to listen to the sound teaching. Go and start reading your Bible or yourself. And stop worshipping this man of God that is leading, that are leading so many of us astray. Yes, sisters, you will be a mad woman to go and be contesting head of family with your husband, even though you're the breadwinner. Situation changes. Most of us now are becoming more educated and supporting our family. Doesn't make us, you know, the head of the household. But I will say to people who are quick to talk about the head, the head cannot stand without this neck. Your wife is your neck that supports you. Honor her. Respect her. Treat her well. If she tells you I am hot or I want support her. You cannot love a woman the right way and not watch that woman honor you and respect you as the church did you. It's a two-way strength. So if you think me questioning Pastor Debo, you're asking, I, I thought he had something upset. It's insulting to you. You are mad. You are sick and you're part of the problem. So I say again, Pastor Bamiloye, most of us grew up watching him and we thought he was an intelligent man as we all saw him. It's high time most of them begin. We're quick to say women be submissive. How many Nigerian men today love their, wear, their wives like the Bible said or instructed them to? Yet all the preachings we see from these so-called men of God is always about women and how to subjugate women. I have never seen any of them preach, men, love your wife, respect your wife, treat your wife right. Your wife is your helpmate. You provide a woman, a woman raises a family. A man provides for the family. It's a partnership that should be built on mutual respect and love. Let me tell you something. I have never seen any woman that is loved right, the right way by a man that does not willingly throw herself at the feet of her husband. We come from a very repressive call as you're empowering your son, empower your daughter. As you're empowering your daughter, empower your son. And the world will be a better place. So like I said again, I used to think Pastor Bamiloye, watching him as a child, had so much wisdom. But I'm stunned seeing the kind of things he's spewing out there. And some of you question why we question or have the audacity to question or counter his narrative and find it insulting. No! The pulpit is a powerful place where most of them spread, you know, spread or spew their false prophecies. Question it. You're here, most of you are here defending pastor. Pastor is fucking your mother. Pastor is fucking your wife. Pastor is fucking your sister. Pastor is sexually assaulting your children. You go and daddy a pastor, but you cannot daddy your husband. 